this is a um, simulation of my rocket and at the left side here we have the thrust inputs and the conversion of that um, also depending on the PID values and um, from the left here we have that and going more to the right we have a 3 DOF which is um, actually what's described our rocket with all the um, complex calculation behind it and as you saw um, we we would try to define um, inertial mass which is just the mass and um, that was 0 0.6 kilograms the inertia was 0 0.02929 and actually I have done so this can be made pretty simple you go to this one um, insert your things and then press play and all of this will be calculated to the inertia of the rocket over here you see something um, which is servo delay calculation um, you could just um, um, have it like it is right now and don't um, touch everything otherwise you could um, take a, mo uh, a movie of your um, of your rocket and then saying how many uh, frames per second is it what is the reaction time in, fr in uh, frames per second what is the work duration in frames per second and what is the work duration um, maximum uh, in degrees this is then calculated to the reaction time reaction time is this one which is the delay time from when the computer commands the server and when the server actually moves in my case is 4.667 milliseconds and the server delay time um, it's just uh, how how many seconds does it take to t to go to one degree in my uh, case it's um, about nine milliseconds to come uh, to one degree and the server time delay input which is this one just leave that for that now um, unless you're trying to do this but then um, yeah it's actually not in affecting the system that much and here we have the server limit which is if the upper limit is 5, you need to set it to 5. If the low limit is 5, is 5, you need to set it to minus 5. Um, that's the maximum angle, which is the same as this one. And here we have a scope and also a dashboard to show the values and how the PID control does. Um, and going to this one, we are setting our set point of 5 degrees. This means that we need to go to 5 degrees. How fast will it go to 5 degrees um, and still be stable? And yeah, here it's just all of this is actually just the PID section. And here we can read all the scopes of this and the thrust here. We insert our average thrust. In my case, it's nine newtons of thrust. We can view the thrust. And here we have something called out of angle, which is in degrees. And that one is means that the if our MPU may be be one degree out of angle or to see mount might be one degree out of angle of um, the the total of the of the actual um, center so let's just um, leave that for zero now uh, the moment off the moment arm also known as um, thrust vector controlled mount to um, center of mass uh, in my case it was 0 0.295 and when we have all these values we need to tune it in some way. So going to this section, the tuning process can take a bit of time, uh, a bit time. But basically, we are going to set all of these to zero, and then we're going to set the derivative to maybe one, and then um, when it, we are going to um, like first we set it one point zero. Okay, um, if it does make any uh, oscillation, um, it's good, and then we want to divide it by four. I have also made a simple one here where we just can insert the value and the division factor and um, then it might be 0 0.25 like that and then we increase the, the proportional term to make 1 again um, and if 1 was the rate 1 we divide it by four, uh, a factor of 4 and then it gets to 0 0.25 um, and when we've done that we want the end scroll and the same again we increase it until it make oscillations and that might be 4 4 divided by 4 which is 1 so let's try that out first I'm going to set that one at just about okay let's set it at I like to set it at a high value first so I'm going to set it at 1 and I'm going to run the simulation 
Uh, it takes a bit of time, but it's okay. Okay, it definitely makes oscillations. This means that we need to decrease the value. As you saw, lots of oscillations. Um, yeah, and I forgot to mention that what you see here is the set point. What you see at the blue one is the orientation of the rocket, and what you see at the red one is the um, PID output, which is the, the, serv the server, where the server is right now. So, yeah. Let's try to set it at my, maybe 0 0.5 this time. So, uh, okay, 0 0.5. Let's see what it says to that. So, okay, it definitely still makes oscillations. But that's good. That means we can decrease it even more. What about 0 0.2? Interesting. I think 0 0.2 is too less. Okay, I'm not sure. We need the oscillations needs to de increase all the time. But um, yeah. Uh, okay, that was too. That was not enough. So we're going to set a 0 0.3. What about 0 0.3? Okay, 0 0.3 was um, still a bit too, li too little, so I'm going to set it at 0 0.2, and I think that will work just perfect. So I'm also going to see 3.2 there. I don't know, 0 0.32, 0 0.32, with that division divided by 4. Let's see. What is the value? 0 0.08, and we have good oscillations. That's good. So we're going to set that one. On 0 0.08. Then we're going to increase the proportional term. And now we should see a perfect um, PID control. Pretty good PID control. Okay. Yeah, you see this one, it's not actually going right to zero, so that means you, you might uh, set the division factor to, um, you need to decrease it like to two or three or something around that. So yeah, it takes just about 1.5 seconds to get. Uh, Completely, complete, completely in the in the way it want, where it needs to be. So what if I set the out of angle to one, out of center to one, and setting the target point, leave it at S five. So what will happen? What will happen? Okay. Well, because of the uh, integral term, oh, it still gets to zero, and. This one just increases to about nearly 10, but it gets to zero again. So this is actually just how it works. But you should not be scared of this because the other one just worked totally fine. And if you want me to explain this one, where I'm trying to implement win, I would like you to write in the comments and I'll make it happen.